Thanks for joining me today for Tea and Poetry. Um, I, I came across this tea in my cupboard. It's my Fair Lady blend, smooth and delicious, so they say. Uh, and it is quite good. I know it looks kind of gimmicky. I actually bought it at Lincoln Center when I went to see my Fair Lady over, geez, it wasn't even last year. I think it was the year before, but um, it just reminded me of how much I miss going to the theater, as I'm sure lots of people do, and looking forward to when we can start doing some things um, again that we used to do. So, oh, I mean, I really need this tea today. <laughs> it's a little caffeine, I'm hoping. Okay, this, um, I came across this poem that I haven't read in quite a while, but it's one of my favorite poets, James Wright. Um, he wrote this poem for his friend, Robert Bly. Um, it's called A Blessing. Sometimes it's called The Blessing, but in this version, it's called A Blessing. Um, but it's just very, I don't know, it's very sweet kind of a poem. I'm just gonna put this down. So, here we go. A Blessing. Just off the highway, to Rochester, Minnesota, twilight bounds softly forth on the grass, and the eyes of those two Indian ponies darken with kindness. They have come gladly out of the willows to welcome my friend and me. We step over the barbed wire into the pasture where they have been grazing all day alone. They ripple tensely, they can hardly contain their happiness that we have come. They bow shyly as wet swans. They love each other. There is no loneliness like theirs. At home once more, they begin munching the young tufts of spring in the darkness. I would like to hold the slenderer one in my arms, for she has walked over to me and nuzzled my left hand. She is black and white, her mane falls wild on her forehead, and the light breeze moves me to caress her long ear that is delicate as the skin over a girl's wrist. Suddenly, I realize that if I stepped out of my body, I would break into blossom. I mean, he has just such a remarkable way with language. Oh, sorry about the siren, but it kind of ruins the moment, doesn't it? I think what I love, and I think what a lot of people love and admire about James Wright is how he, it's almost like he's taking, it is like he is taking these kind of just ordinary human moments, these two guys in a field pulling over on the side of the road and see these two ponies. But there's something about the way that he elevates this with language and the way that he relates this, it, that makes it remarkable. Um, he's such a kind of a, I always think of James Wright as being such a fragile kind of guy. You know, I don't think he was a very defended kind of person and I'm sure that wasn't very fun for him but it does really make for some pretty good poetry. Okay. Um, all right, well, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna finish my My Fair Lady tea and try to wake up a little bit so I can finish my work. Truck. Okay, I will be back again with more tea and poetry in the meantime, take care.